Yes, so as you can see, not only did Donald Trump win, he won by a landslide. So ladies, let this be a lesson to you. Don't let people gas you up and tell you that you can take on a man or let you believe that you can persuade or bully anybody into doing something, giving you something that you did not earn. You know what I'm saying? And God willing, personally, I voted for Trump, you know, and moving forward, God willing, we'll have some more fairer laws and statutes towards men. Because like I said, um, the main reason why I knew not only did she lose, she lost by a landslide. So what was all that hubbub about? What was all that uh, Trump bashing about? Where are all the Trump bashers now? They just died down. If you don't know anything about politics, if you're politically illiterate, just stay out of it. <clears throat> okay? So um, she lost by a landslide. I knew it was going to happen because people didn't like the... People just didn't like the direction feminism were going in, was going in. I mean, got a fucking law in New York saying a man can't spread his legs on the subway. You feel me? You got this rape culture shit that they're talking about, and they're just blowing everything out of proportion. And they really thought they were getting away with it, but actually what happened was they made it hard, harder for themselves. They were moving so fast that the nation... The non-feminist nation and the men noticed that they were trying to grab power. It was a power grab. So now we can't trust you and everything that you do will seem to be in the selfish name of feminism. So you tried too hard, you made it obvious, and consequently you made it harder on yourself. And now it's never going to happen. Since you try so, since you, you would lie, steal, cheat, and sell your body to get the presidency to see the first female presidency now it's been pushed back even further you might not even see it in your lifetime but i'm glad this happened though because i think it will bring some um bring back the black male um because we're not going to be employing people um strictly on their gender and their race it's not going to be no endless um, welfare program or the life of Mina like I saw my um, big shout out to Marcus A. Brown by the way but I saw that um, link by the guy something Dave Carney I think who wrote the book and there was like something called the life of Lena and you know it's not gonna we've had enough of the government sponsoring women and just being unfair to men so I think this is a, a tremendous step in the right direction and moving forward I hope we can see some justice and fairness in um, family court, in the prison system, um, in the immigration system, and in the workforce. So there's a lot more I want to say about this, but um, the circumstances doesn't permit me to. So 